With 2020 right around the corner, it is time to think about what your vision is for your side business or a side hustle. And the best way to get started is with a vision board. So in today's video, I'm going to share the vision board that I have created for Imperfect Life Balance. And I'm also going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to find different images and how to actually create a vision board for yourself. If you are new here, hi, my name is Marta and welcome to my channel where we talk about anything and everything that is related to helping you create your own version of life balance and fulfillment without feeling the mom guilt. So if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. So let's get started. So this is the vision board that I have created for Imperfect Life Balance. I have used a program called Canva for that and that is a free tool that you can use. I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out. And the idea that I had for a vision board for my side business came from Morgan Law. A few months ago, she did a video on how to create that vision board in Canva. And ever since, I wanted to create one for myself. And I thought, now that we are at the end of 2019, I really need to create one so I can have an easier time creating goals for myself for the next year. So I'm going to walk you through five different easy steps that I took to create that vision board. And then I'm going to give you few different reasons of why you really need one for your business. So the first step in creating a vision board for your side business or a side hassle is to think about what type of value do you want your business to ultimately deliver to your customers, to your clients, to your followers. And it is important to start with that step because it's gonna make everything else much more clear for you. So for me, what I want Imperfect Life Balance to ultimately become is a community of working moms who are sharing their advice and different tips on how we can achieve our own version of life balance. I want it to be a place for moms to turn to when they are tired and overwhelmed and are looking to find that fulfillment again. I want it to be a judgment-free zone full of support and help. I want the Perfect Life Balance to become this platform where we lift each other up and get rid of that mom guilt word from our vocabulary. In step number two of creating a vision board for your side business is that you want to find images for that value that you ultimately want to deliver. So my vision board, I kind of divided that into two portions. And the images I'm going to describe now are on the top portion of it. And that's where I just search in Canva for different type of images. You basically want those images to represent that value that you want to bring to your customers and clients and followers. So for me, since I talked about community, I looked for words like community and friendship and women friends to come up with an image that you see over here with all those hands and legs in a circle. Also, because I want it to be a judge-free zone and place where we want to offer support, that's where you see that image of two women talking to each other and smiling because that's what we want. We don't want to be judgy, we just want to be supportive. And then I also looked for images to represent life balance. And that's where I chose those two images, one with home and one with a laptop and coffee. And those two images represent a life at home. And that of course includes the kind of life areas like spiritual, household, family health, fitness, financial, personal development and community and then life at work. So that would be career and the side business. And I wanted pictures that would represent calmness and peacefulness. So to me, the picture that is with the laptop and coffee represents somebody who made their coffee at home and took time to actually make it. And that to me says that we are taking our time to enjoy the things that we actually love and not just rushing from one thing to another. So that's kind of how I went about looking for those images. So the one tip I have for you when you look for those images, just choose the ones that speak to you because they are supposed to speak to your heart, to your soul, so you have that vision for your side business. So in step number three of creating your vision for your side business, I want you to think about what you need to do to be able to provide that value. So in other words, what do I need to do to achieve that vision? Because it's one thing to just kind of look at the pictures of where you want the end result, but I also wanted to include the vision of different specific steps, specific things that I wanted to do to achieve that vision. So that's when I thought about where Imperfect Life Balance is going. And I want it to be like a library full of resources. 
I want it to be a place where working moms come in to find the answers to the questions of why and where and how when it comes to creating their own version of life balance. I want to share the different techniques for time management and how to prioritize because to me those are the cornerstones of life balance. So my vision is that I'm going to be able to share my ideas, how I manage my household, and also the ideas of other women, of other working moms, how they are managing their household, how they are prioritizing their responsibilities. And I want to share them on my blog, I want to offer different free resources, and I also want to create course content. So those were all specific things, specific actions that I wanted to take to achieve my vision. And now knowing that we can move on to step number four, which is again to find the images to represent those specific actions. So again, that's where you'd go back to Canva. Um, you can also find some images on Google or you can cut them out from the magazine. You can use whatever technique you want. I'm just sharing specifically what I did. Last year I did a vision board for my personal life. So I'm going to put a link down below to that blog post and that's when I kind of use the approach of scrapbooking. The one that I have for my business is basically creating everything in Canva and printing it out. So it doesn't really matter what technique you use, what matters is that you actually create one for yourself. So on the bottom of my vision board you see the vision that I have of what approach I'm going to take in those few images. So that's when you see an image with time management and checklist and the light bulb for the ideas part, the image of a woman by the computer, that's me creating content for my YouTube and for my blog posts, and me doing it with a smile on my face because that is what I'm passionate about. And those different, and then I also included those different pieces of puzzles because that's how I feel this life bond is about, about really putting those pieces all together. And the last step that is critical when you are creating a vision board is once you create it, once it is visible to you, you need to create specific goals to achieve that vision. So right now, as we are getting into your 2020, that's when it's time to think about exactly what specific goals do you have for next year? What specific goals do you have for the next three months that are gonna bring you closer to achieving that vision? And if you're looking for a free template, I'm going to link it down below. It's a goal planner and tracker. And one of the sheets is specifically for the side business. So that's where you can write down your specific goals and specific actions that you are going to take to achieve that goal. And then once you have the goals, as you are working through them, your vision board is going to serve a lot of purposes for you. It's going to be a constant visual reminder of where you are going. It's also going to be a great reminder of why you are doing whatever you're doing. So once you create your goals, the initial excitement is going to wear off. You're going to feel uninspired, you're going to feel unmotivated, and that's when Vision Board is going to be a great reminder of why you're doing what you're doing. And that will keep you going. It's also going to help you make decisions. So specifically for your business, maybe it is an example where you have a business opportunity, there is somebody approaching you for a partnership and you are not sure whether or not that's a good fit. That's when you can reference your vision board and see if that partnership fits into your ultimate vision. And if it does not, that's how you're going to be able to make that decision and it's going to be easier for you to say no. Vision board is also going to help you stay accountable. Because as I said, step number six is to create specific goals to achieve that vision. So that vision board is a constant reminder to keep working on your goals. So if you have not created a vision board yet for your business, I strongly suggest you give it a try. And if you created one in the past, let me know how helpful that was for you down below in the comments. And that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.